Hello guys and welcome back to another video. We are back in the BMW 130i and today we are working on the N52 engine. We're actually going to be removing, inspecting and cleaning both of the Vanoff solenoids. So I think what we'll do, we'll get outside, let's get the bonnet popped and let's get cracking. Okay then, so for those of you who are actually not aware, the Vanoff solenoids are located down here at the front of the engine bay just below the rocker cover but what i'm actually going to do is just remove this pipe from here just so i can get in there better and show you a better angle of what they look like okay then so here are the two vanna solenoids themselves these are the electrical connectors you just have to push these clips in like so and they will pull off and then the solenoids are just held in by one 10 millimeter bolt which needs to be removed then the van off solenoids themselves should just pull out then okay first of all then i'm just gonna disconnect the electrical connectors that's them both unplugged and I'm going to loosen off the bolt. I'm going to start with the one on the bottom first. There's the first bolt removed. It's only a short bolt, 10 millimeter. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the solenoid itself. I'm just going to put some tissue paper here to catch any oil. Okay, so here is the original Vanna solenoid then. To be honest, actually doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too dirty. Obviously we will be giving it a good clean up anyway. But yeah, you can see it is the original BMW one. But yeah, let's put this to one side and let's get the other one removed as well. And here is the second solenoid removed. It's actually the top one. This one's a little bit more dirty. So I'm not too sure if this is the exhaust or the intake side but yeah this one looks a little bit more dirty than the other one and now what i need to do is retrieve the o-rings because the o-rings like to get stuck in there so there should just be one in each there's one and there's the other one Okay then, so now that we have all of the parts laid out, so we have both of the Vanna solenoids, we have the O-rings, and then we have the two bolts that hold the solenoids to the engine. There's actually another O-ring which you can remove to give a clean before you, uh, before you reinstall it. It is a good idea to check these as well. If they are damaged in any way, then of course replace them. Ours look to be in pretty good condition, so they should be good to reuse. Obviously, we'll notice an oil leak if they are bad. Uh, but yeah, now is just time to uh, start cleaning. I like to use this electrical contact cleaner. You can really use any solvent-based cleaner, so brake cleaner, um, carb cleaner, anything you want really, as long as they are completely dry when you go to put them back into your engine. Okay, I think first of all, I'm actually just gonna Give them a good wipe down just to remove any excess dirt from them. And then anything else we should be able to remove with the cleaner. There we go then, that is the first solenoid clean as you can see looks a lot better than it did before so we'll go ahead and move on to the next one and there we go that's the other one cleaned as well and then i'm just going to go ahead and give the o-rings a good clean up in some soapy water okay then so i've gave all of the o-rings a good clean i've inspected them they all look to be in good condition so I'm, i am actually going to reinstall these now obviously like i said if there is a leak i can just replace these at any time you know it's not hard to remove these 
they both just slot on like so and they sit together at the top of the solenoid okay then so now it's time to reinstall the solenoid back into the engine so i'm going to start with the top one first okay then so i've actually managed to get the bolt in for the top one little trick if you have a small mirror on hand you can actually use that to help line up the solenoid with the bolt hole then all that needs to do now is torquing down but i'm going to go ahead and put the other solenoid in first and then put that bolt in as well okay so as you can see we have both of the bolts back in i just need to torque them down now to 10 newton meters There we go, there's one, there we go, both bolts torqued down to 10 newton meters. And now I just need to plug both of them back in, and I'm just going to click this pipe back on. And then plug this pipe back on here. There we go and now all we've got to do is fire it up Okay then, so that is another job done on this M52 engine. That is both of the Vanna solenoids nice and clean now. And like I said, you know, I wasn't really having any issues with them before, um, but it's just good to know that they are clean and free from any kind of debris now. And, um, you know, it's really something that is not um, a bad idea to do anyway. It's always good to kind of periodically check these things and keep on keep on uh you know keep on top of um your various engine components and um you know if you are getting uh, a rough running or a rough idle um then it, it's it's always worth you know trying to clean your vanna solenoids you know if you are getting multiple um you know multiple codes relating to your vanna system then your solenoids may be too far gone to try and clean them they may just need replacing but it's always worth you know giving it a go to see if uh to see if cleaning does help um you know it's not costing you anything at the end of the day and it's very very simple and easy to do um but yeah i hope this video has been somewhat helpful i hope you have enjoyed it please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so because i've got a lot more videos to come in this engine and i will see you all in that next one peace